we are gonna be making a paper bridge. Yes, you heard me, a bridge made out of paper. Hello, explorers. This is Mr. Jose. We are gonna start with just plain old paper. So you just grab a sheet of paper, and the first thing you're gonna do is fold it exactly in half, and then take a pair of scissors and cut it so that you have two slices. Now, when I take these pieces of paper and put them across the gap, notice what happens. Is that the type of ridge that we're gonna be able to, to travel over across this gap? Of course, the answer is pretty obvious. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make two sheets of paper a lot stronger using more paper. What you need is some masking tape and a pair of scissors might be helpful. And then of course, several sheets of paper. Take one sheet of paper and I'm just using a plain old marker and I'm gonna roll this paper on the marker, making sure that my edges stay even and I'm gonna take some masking tape. One of the things you wanna be careful of is not to overdo the masking tape. We don't want a masking tape bridge, we want a paper bridge. So you're gonna make a tube just like that, and then of course your marker hopefully will come out the bottom if you don't do it too tight. There we go. And you have a pretty uniform tube, just using a marker. What we're gonna do is take several of these tubes, and then we are going to tape them on our paper, put one slice of paper on the bottom, so that'll be the bottom of our bridge, and then take the other slice of paper and put it on the top. So all I have here basically is one, two, three, four, five sheets of paper. Just tape it around and just wrap it around. Now for the fun part. I think this is the part that everybody gets excited about because they really want to test their bridge and see how good of a job they did. I'm going to use a plastic cup. The plastic cup is fairly light. Our original piece of paper couldn't even hold up this paper cup. Oh, see? So here's our flat bridge bed that we made from our previous example. And we are gonna put a plastic cup. This is gonna only hold our weight. This is a bag of about 10 washers. Watch what happens when I put 10 washers in our cup. Whoa, look at that. How about if I put 20 washers in? Oh my goodness, 30 washers. I think I have another group of 20 right here. And look at that. Oh, my bridge, I think it's starting to feel the weight a little bit. Here's another set of 20. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna center my cup a little bit more there. Oh my goodness. This to me is the fun part about the whole thing is how, how much can I keep on going until my bridge collapses? 10 washers, 20 washers here. I am getting close to 100 washers. I heard that in one of our second grade classes, a, a group had made a bridge that held, held up three 100 washers of this type. I, I wanna see how far I can keep on going, but for the purposes of this film, we'll leave it at that. You have fun at home, try making your paper bridges. And you know what? The only limit is your imagination on what that bridge looks like. It's great being with you today. I hope you enjoy this activity.